I'm out here. This is, what I, this is who I am, it's what I am. And if you don't like it, then you can suck it. People think that body acceptance means that you are complacent, and it's literally the opposite. It's saying, actually, I'm just gonna be happy. Right now, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna stop moving towards someone else's goal and I'm just gonna be happy right here. What can, now that I'm happy here, what can I do? And then once you acknowledge that, you can make all kinds of other changes in your life. You can't put a price tag on confidence and on um, personal development. Learning to value that over my physical health, over my, over my monetary wealth, I mean, it's, it's just so massive. It's completely changed the way that I think about my life and, and the way that I see myself moving through the world in general. When I say fat yoga, it's so that we can empower the word fat and, can, and just get rid of the importance that it has for other people. Even within the body positivity community, there's fat women who are like, oh, but I don't wanna show my arms or you need to have your bust line covered or whatever. And my thought is, how are we ever gonna get over all of these stigmas if everyone is still covering up their body? I mean, it does us no good to have extended plus size athletic wear lines. They're frumpy as f because of this whole like fat women need to cover up thing, my teaching partner, Dana Falsetti, and I never wear shirts to classes. We always wear sports bras because I've noticed that the more we do it, all of our plus size female students will stop, they stop wearing shirts. They'll take their shirts off in the middle of class where they come in a sports bra. Your whole life, you spend your life thinking you have to have your arms covered and your belly covered and there's one person who says you don't. That's monumental. I feel like any size person can do anything. You don't have to get to a certain place before you can be active. A lot of people think that in order to practice yoga that you need to be flexible or slender. And it's just, it's not the case at all. It's really just an opportunity for people to come back to themselves and realize who we actually are. If you believe in yourself and if you genuinely believe that you're just living life to live it because it literally might be over tomorrow, then you can't lose. There's, you, there's nothing you can't do.